We're joined right now by ESPN college basketball analyst Brooke Weisbrod to tell us her picks, but also kind of give us some insights. I saw you just tweet this. I retweeted you. So the odds of crafting the perfect bracket are one in 9.2 quintillion. So you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got to tell us what matchups are going to be the toughest to call this time. Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty wide open tournament, and and I actually I love. I love being wrong this time of year and part of me doesn't even want to fill out a bracket because I just, I love upsets so much. And the first weekend, I mean, it's the, to me, it's the best four days of the year between the men's and the women's tournament. Um, but you got something to look out for in terms of lower seeds, uh, Virginia tech who just won the ACC tournament upsetting Duke, they have an 11 seed. So they're taking on number six seed, Texas. That should be a great first round matchup. Murray state out of Kentucky is a seven seed. They have 30 wins, so I know a lot of people are going to choose them, and, and they're a great feel-good story, especially with the uh, alum John ja Morant coming from there. But they play a tough team out west, San Francisco, who's a 10 seed. And then the last time I was on with you, Adrian, we talked about Michigan. Mm -hmm. They're an 11 seed, kind of low for the Wolverines, so we'll see if they can maybe bounce back in this tournament. They have Colorado State in the first round. Uh, Providence against South Dakota State, who also has 30 wins and a cool nickname, the Jackrabbits. How can you not root for them? And then Jack Wyoming, Roberts. they need to beat uh, Indiana in the play-in game, but they'll play five-seed St. Mary's. And, and this is a from the bench, the blue-collar boys. So look forward to their uh, very creative celebrations on the bench. So I'm, I'm, I'm repping Wyoming here hard in this tournament. That's so awesome. You know, speaking of lower seeds, obviously the basketball world, happy to see Sister Jean return this season uh, at the ripe age of 102, a chaplain of Loyola, Chicago. Uh, of course, they had a phenomenal run back in 2018. Are there any teams this year who have a comparable Cinderella story? That's hard to beat Sister Jean now. I'm not going to put anybody <laughs> up against her, but but I will say there's some fun teams to watch out for. Certainly, you know, I just talked to you about Wyoming. They got a couple of guys, Hunter Maldonado and Graham E.K., that are just so fun to watch. Um, and and also, you know, Virginia Tech, since they beat Duke in the ACC finals, I think they're two, uh, definitely a team to look out for. And then Memphis, Penny Hardaway. Everybody knows Penny Hardaway. Yes. Well, they won 12 of their last 14 games where – they fell apart in the middle of the season. They've got a great freshman and Jalen Duran, and, you know, like I said, Penny Hardaway. So they're definitely a team to keep your eye on. That's awesome. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, always good to see you from ESPN. Brooke Weisbrod, you have a, an amazing season, an amazing time working and playing and having fun. <laughs> Happy March Madness, Adrian. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.